Hey, Chris here. Today I want to take a look at a budget-friendly bag from Amazon. The Amazon Basics Premium Upright Expandable Soft Side Suitcase. So we'll take a look at some features, then want to give some quick thoughts on this bag. So let's start by taking a look at the exterior of the bag. So as far as handles go, you'll see a top grab handle and a side grab handle. Another grab handle on the bottom of the bag that's incorporated into the plastic stand. You'll have one smaller pocket on the front of the bag here. It does have dual zippers. And when you unzip, see some pretty nice depth there. And as the name notes, the bag is expandable. So to expand, you just unzip all the way around and it'll give you around a, a half of an inch of additional space. And of course you do have the main large compartment here that um, actually has some locking zippers. So one bag I found that does incorporate a TSA approved lock on the side of the bag. A lot of times you'll see that on hard sided spinners or luggage. Um, but again being a soft sided bag, don't see it as frequently. And if we turn the bag around here, you're going to see some plastic protection pieces in case you do want to lay the bag to its side. And turning the bag around here, you're going to see some protection towards the back here. And a place you can enter your name, address, telephone number on the bag. As far as a handle goes, you'll have a handle that locks into place, one locking position here. Actually feels pretty sturdy for an Amazon bag, so nice to see that. Then of course the wheels on the bag. Two nice oversized wheels that seem to roll very well. So next what I want to do is just take a quick look on the inside of the bag. As I mentioned before, this bag does incorporate a TSA approved lock. and in doing so, it seems like the zippers are a little bit longer than normal. Again, my thought is just because they needed these to rotate and lock inside. So again, dual zippers here. Zippers feel very smooth to unzip. And so when we, when we take a look inside, you're going to see two pockets on the flap. One is plastic lined, and the other one is just um, a mesh lined pocket here. And then you will see a smaller pocket that's incorporated into the side of the bag here. And also, love seeing that the bag incorporates some compression straps here. These actually feel very sturdy. So I want to throw a couple of items in here just to show you what it looks like when, um, again, you pack a few items. So I do have two Eagle Creek packing cubes, size medium. So we'll throw these in. And again, a second Eagle Creek packing cube size medium. This is one of their clean, dirty bags. And just with that, again, plenty of space in this bag. And just a couple of other things here. Small toiletry bag and then just a pouch for some cord chargers, things to that effect. So let's go ahead and compress this down. Let's go ahead and throw just a Eagle Creek small packing cube. This has just a few miscellaneous top items in here. And again, all this is going to fit in very, very easily. So we'll zip this up. And again, take a quick look at the bag when it's packed. And again, really can't even tell that there's items in here. You can easily throw a jacket, a magazine, whatever in the front of the bag as well. So next what I want to do to finish up is just give some quick thoughts on this bag. The Amazon Basics Premium Upright Expandable Soft Side Suitcase. This bag currently retails for around $69. I actually picked the bag up for around $49 on sale, so a tax came in at around $52. The bag does come in an assortment of different colors. So what I suggest is if you're interested in this bag, if you're not particular on color, look through because a lot of times different bags are priced differently. 
I did have a chance to weigh this bag, and the bag does weigh in at around 6.6 .6 pounds. So I did want to give just some quick thoughts on this bag. Again, I was very interested. Not a lot of information. Plus, at the $50 mark, again, it piqued my interest because I'm always interested in budget-friendly bags. So I have had a chance at, of looking at some other Amazon basic bags, and to me, this bag feels very similar to those. Um, I do like the zippers probably better on this bag than other Amazon basic bags I've had a chance to look at. The, I guess the way the zippers are made to lock in the TSA approved lock, again, longer than most, so has a little bit funny feel to it, but overall, overall a nice feel to the zippers of the bag. So thinking of maybe some pros and cons of the bag, um, again, could be a pro, good, could be a con as far as zippers go. So hit some pros. Again, price point is good. If you can find this bag around the $50 mark, highly recommend taking a look at the bag. So just a nice feel to the bag overall, even at the $50 mark. Again, um, I have no problem with the way the bag feels. And overall, I haven't seen any places that I feel like um, might fail. Uh, again, I, you know, just some traditional places like Will's. Um, handles and places like that. Again, budget-friendly bags are sometimes known not to always be the best in those areas. But again, nothing that just really stands out to, to show me that that could be an issue. But again, I guess on the flip side of that, being a $50 bag, even though I like the feel, you can tell it's a $50 bag. Um, doesn't have that premium feel like some higher dollar bags, and that's to be expected. So I actually like the handle on this bag a lot better than I thought because a lot of Amazon or cheaper bags do have kind of a lot of play in their handle. So I don't feel that in this bag. So nice to see that. Um, so overall, the price point, really like the bag. So just a couple of cons. Uh, again, the zippers could be a con to some. Some people don't like the fact that there is a lock incorporated into the bag, and I completely understand that. Um, one thing I did fail to mention, I love seeing the compression straps, and they actually have a very, very nice feel. But the way they do lock, again, long-term durability is always a question in certain areas, and that might be the, the biggest one for me, just the, the when you lock the compression straps together. But overall, nice feel to the compression straps, especially for a lower dollar bag. So overall, though, um, really like the bag. If, though, you're looking at the bag around the $69 or $70 mark, probably a few other bags I would also take a look at, specifically the Travel Pro. Because this almost has that Travel Pro Max Lite feel to the bag overall. A few similar type items um, or uh, features of the bag that, again, just kind of point me to the Travel Pro. So if I'm looking at a $70 bag, I'm probably looking to see if anybody's having any current sales on the Max Lite 4 or Max Lite 5 bags from Travel Pro. So always keep that in mind. But if you can find this bag on sale, anywhere from, like I said, $49 for what I purchased, lower, of course, but uh, even a little bit above that, definitely consider taking a look at the bag. Again, thought it was important to get information out because didn't see a lot of reviews on this bag and always interested in what Amazon has to offer. So thank you so much for taking time to watch. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, would absolutely love to hear from you. So please like, subscribe, and again, leave those comments. Thank you so much.